Hello, my name is Kurt Carey and I'm the Executive Director at Camp Sunshine. And thank you so much for being part of the Camp Sunshine family. And also, thank you so much for your patience with us as we've been working through the various state mandates and the guidance from health officials because we have wanted to make sure that we can provide the safest and most responsible camper experience that we can this summer. That's really what we care about the most is the safety of our campers. We want them to grow and develop and to be amazing human beings. And I know that's what you want. And so I just really appreciate the patience that you've had with me and my team. Today, I want to talk to you about some of what Camp Sunshine is planning to make happen for you and your family this summer. I'm pleased to announce that Camp Sunshine is going to be able to operate an online and on grounds camp experience. For more information, about our online camp experience, you can visit our website or contact our parent services team. You've been hearing me say that Camp Sunshine has been preparing for a summer like no other. And I really believe that that is true. And no matter where you engage with us this summer, I believe that we are gonna to continue to be able to make fantastic memories for you and your camper. What I wanna talk a little bit about today is our on-grounds camp experience and how we are gonna provide the safest and most reasonable and responsible environment for your campers. Now, Camp Sunshine is going to be testing every single staff person this summer, and we're gonna be doing ongoing testing all summer long. Camp Sunshine will be screening both campers and staff and taking their temperatures every single day. Camp Sunshine staff will be wearing masks wherever possible throughout the camp day. For emergency circumstances, we are asking that all campers come to Camp Sunshine this summer with a face mask. And there are other things like social distancing that Camp Sunshine will be doing across all of its grounds and during all of its activities. Camp Sunshine has been working together with Dr. Bullock, she's our overseeing physician, on how we are going to monitor, sanitize, and clean every single area that is being used by our campers every single day. For detailed information on that plan, you're going to be able to look on our website and review our health and safety plan. Should you have any questions about that, please contact Parent Services. We'd love to talk to you about your concerns. We believe that by following the Maryland Health Department standards, the standards from the ACA, we are going to be able to ensure that campers are safe as they are on our grounds. We also feel that through testing, cleaning, mitigating, and sanitizing all services all summer long, we are gonna maintain an envelope of safety throughout our campgrounds. Camp Sunshine, is known as an organization that is convenient as possible for our parents. And this summer, convenience and safety are not going to follow the same trend line. In order to maintain the envelope of safety that we are required to do and that we believe is the best decision, our convenience options are going to change this summer. Things like extended care are going to be adjusted. Social distancing and group sizes are going to have to be in place. And there are going to be adjustments that could change as the summer goes on, but the summer will start as planned on June 15th with some of these mitigating factors in place. To review the details, please visit our website and review that information. And please, throughout this entire process, reach out to us and ask any questions that you have. There are a few things that I want to highlight in regards to the Maryland Health Department's standards that Camp Sunshine will be enacting this summer. First, if your children are under five, they will need to have a doctor's note from their doctor that says there's no health risk to them attending Camp Sunshine this summer. And if your children have any underlying health conditions that would make them high risk to COVID-19, you also need to see your primary care physician and receive a doctor's note from them in order to attend. These are factors that cannot be waived and must be done in order for your children to attend. Your primary care physician must sign off saying that they can attend. More than anything, I want your children to have a fantastic summer. I really do. And me and my team have been doing our best to provide an outcome no matter what happens. So whether it's an online experience or an on-grounds experience, we're gonna be there for you this summer. Please review the information, ask any question that you have, and I hope to see you this summer.